एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now most of the ac circuits basically they uh, may contain resistance capacitance and inductance and their combination also so means in some of the cases resistance and inductance are present in some of the cases resistance and capacitance are present or their combination their combination may be in series or parallel now i will explain ki when r l and c they are present in the series combination and when they are present in the parallel combination I am Narendra Kaur. Now, if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details, so you can refer this book from S Chand Publishing. Link is also given in the description box. I am going to explain, and we all will study about the when R, L, and C they are present in the series combination. So, first is topic is a AC circuit which contain combination of R, L. and c in series means there is a series combination of all these things so now if this is a resistance again this is a inducting coil this is the capacitance so this is a series combination of r l and c they are present in the series combination and the current i is flowing over here how the current is flowing the ac circuit here the ac input source is applied over here with voltage v and frequency f so this is the frequency f over here now we know that in the series combination current i which is flowing through r l and c the current will be same and the voltage drop occur across r l and c now the current is same in this in the three cases now the voltage drop we will calculated over here the voltage drop is calculated across r that is equals to vr voltage drop across l that is equals to vl next is a voltage drop across xc that is equals to vc so the voltage drop across this three combination that is calculated over here now what is a voltage drop voltage drop across r we know that v equals to ir so that is given by vr which is equals to i into r so this is a voltage drop across resistance so second part what is a voltage drop across l that is given by vl which is equals to i into xl so this is i into xl next is a voltage drop across c which is equals to vc equals to i into xc so that is equals to i into xc this is a voltage drop across capacitance now the resultant voltage that will be calculated which is equals to resultant of all these three which is equals to vr square plus v l square plus v c square again in terms of resistance their resultant resistance is given by r square that is sorry this is equals to r square plus x l minus x c square now why x l minus x c you can use xc minus xl in my case i have used over here when xl is more than xc so in this case that is a resultant voltage over here now next is a phasor diagram that is more important over here how you can represent in the phases over here so phasor diagram that can be shown here now we know that if this is a value of voltage vr or you in resistance we know that there is no phase between the r and i means they are in the same direction 
so this is will be the value direction of current as well as this is the value direction of current and resistance sorry in the resist voltage and current in case of resistor they are in the same phase there is no phase difference now in case of inductance we know that inductance the current lags behind the voltage by an angle of 90 degree so in this case if this is a voltage then that will be the direction of current so that will be il lags behind by an angle of 90 degree now next what is the well in case of capacitance so in case of capacitance current is ahead to the voltage so that is a xc this is ahead by an angle of 90 degree now we want to represent the resultant over here so firstly in this case now if xl inductance that is more than xc then automatically the current il that will be less than ic if its resistance is more then current will be small okay that means its resultant that can be represented in the upward direction with the minus sign so that is minus of xl so its resultant that can be now represented like this now if we want to represent its resultant so that can be now represented like this that means this is a i and that is a il x sorry x ic minus xl this is a resultant here it this is a ir now there are the two vectors their resultant that can be represented like diagonal of this parallelogram so that is a ir that is a resultant over here which makes an angle theta with the x axis so the resultant vector so the i resultant that is equals to i r square plus i c minus i l square under root so this is a resultant value in case of when the l r l and c they are combined in series so this is a resultant vector in this case now we have studied resistance inductance and capacitance these three are placed in series to each other with the same current and we calculated here the resultant value of the current and the voltage and also the resistance so the current resultant resistance in this case that is given by r square plus xl minus xc whole square so by using this relation this resultant resistance can be calculated now the power factor what is the value of power factor that is r by z so the power factor that is less than 1 means in our system when there is a combination of resistance capacitance or inductance the power factor is always less than 1 so means the power factor its value lies from 0 to 1 when there is only resistance circuit is present so xl and xc that will be 0 so z will be equals to r so in the resistive circuit only in the resistive circuit only z is equals to that means z that is equals to r so our power factor will be equals to 1 means the maximum value of the power factor is 1 that is when there is only the resistive factor only the resistive circuit is present but when there is a combination of resistance inductance and capacitance the power factor it lies from 0 to 1 it is less than 1 only in the first part we have studied about the Uh, well, combination of r l and c when they are represented in the series 
and we calculated here the power factor. Now in the upcoming part we will study the R, L and C, their uh, combination circuit is present in the parallel. So in that case we have also calculated, then again we will calculate the resultant and the draw the phasor diagram and also calculate their power factor. Now if you want to study uh, these all these topics in details. So you can refer this book from S. Chan Publishing. Link is also given in the description box. Now if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the S. Chan Academy and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.